um, I, uh, what you have here is called um, Feathers are Another Form of Memory, Part 1. Yeah. And uh, there's two kind of things about this work which are important to know. Um, one of, the first thing is that uh, it's, I'm thinking about uh, how Telta knowledge continues, right? Um, <clears throat> and one of the major stories of our people is uh, Siskiacho um, finds the light, you know. And in that process, that very living process, he, he or she or they um, uh, share the light with the world, right? And many, for many years, I, I saw the light as knowledge, right? also skill, it's also uh, future, futuring, right? Um, before Siskiacho open, uh, shares the light with the world, uh, the world is in darkness, right? And often we do this thing when we hear stories like this, we focus on the light, you know? It's a very popular culture thing too, right? Like, it's very strange to be afraid of darkness, but we're trained to do that, you know, the light conquers the dark, you know. Um, but in this story for our people, our people lived on the land in the darkness. At no point in the versions of this story have I that I've heard uh, has any elder said our people were afraid, you know. So I want to also honor that, you know. And in thinking about that continuation of uh, Taltan knowledge, I started to think and imagine what happened to the darkness and what happened to that original family who kept the light because they don't disappear either, they, they continue. So in my thinking and dreaming about this story, I think that that family carries and takes care of the, the darkness, you know, and maybe Siskiacho will return in a cycle and bring the darkness back to everyone, right? And in thinking about our mom's Alzheimer's story, you know, it's very easy to think about her brain transforming into darkness, right? Um, but that's not, kind of not what I'm feeling here, right? Because in the original story, darkness is not a bad thing, right? So as she walks down the, all, her Alzheimer's journey, and as we walk down her Alzheimer's journey uh, beside her, uh, her brain is transforming itself into something, you know. So in this video, you see the Siskia dropping feathers, um, and you see the darkness, like it's returning darkness to the land. You know? It's not covering up the land with darkness, Darkness is a part of this, you know? And in the background is Stikine River and uh, Taliban Nation Territory. Also, the video is a song that our mom composed. Um, and you, you hear me kind of whispering, singing it uh, in the video. And um, it's a beautiful song. And October, and on October 7th, uh, uh, my uh, sister uh, Estadza Carey and her partner Lux helped me to move mom's song into the language. So on October 7th, we're going to sing that song and share it with everyone uh, because it should be a community song. And uh, part of my reasoning for this is that even with Alzheimer's, you are still practicing culture, you're still contributing to culture, right? And she wrote this song last year. Um, I just was lucky enough to be sitting by her when she sang it out loud. Yeah. <laughs>